Has quarantine got you feeling more tired than usual lately? And you find yourself taking naps all day because there's nothing better to do? What about your online shopping addiction and then realizing you're out of shape because when you take the stairs to go to the mailroom, you start sweating? Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you. Do you find yourself endlessly scrolling through Twitter, Instagram, and even our favorite, TikTok, for hours on end? You also might have realized that you've been laying in bed eating all your quarantine snacks and you haven't had a real meal since, like, last week. Does this sound like you? Well, are you ready to make a change? Do you want to stop being a lazy piece of crap? Well, put down the popcorn, grab your computer, it's time to do a little Google search and figure out how you can get healthy. After you've done thorough research on the internet, you find yourself coming across Chloe Ting and her amazing website, and then you fall victim of the infamous two-week shred challenge. And you're ready to go, but you realize you have to start looking like a real human. There we go. so begins day one of the two week challenge so just gonna let you guys know not an easy start hit training is really hard for me i have no endurance but even though it was tough i didn't give up i was able to get through the entire workout even though my face turned bright red Day two, slightly easier because I knew what exercises were coming, but nonetheless, still very slow. So on day three, I decided to give myself a French braid and uh... Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> By day three, I could feel my endurance slowly starting to improve. And by slowly, I mean slowly. It was a little bit easier to get through the exercises, but nonetheless, they were still hard and I was still sweating like crazy. So on this day, there was actually a blood drive at work and I decided to donate and the instructions specifically said not to exercise after giving blood, so I wasn't gonna argue with that. So I basically made today my rest day and then made day five, actually day four. And these are my sushi socks, which make me feel better about anything that I'm doing. I noticed on day five, it was a lot easier to keep up. I felt I was going a lot faster with the exercises and I wasn't giving up as easily. Why does she love up down planks so much? They suck. I hate doing that. So I actually had to go to work today and I worked a 12 hour shift at the hospital and the last thing that I wanted to do was come home from working all day and do this stupid workout. But you know what, I sucked it up, went down to day six and just got it over with. And you know what? It actually went really well. My energy levels felt awesome. I was able to get through almost every single exercise without stopping. I kept up the pace and I felt really, really good. I don't know if it's because I was active all day at work or what was going on, but I was actually really glad I ended up doing the workout. I decided to take a quick rest break and bother my cat for a second. And then I started thinking to myself, cats are so lucky. They don't have to worry about their bodies or doing ab workouts or anything like that. But then I was like, you know what? People don't either, so whatever. Today is day seven, which means I'm officially halfway through the challenge. Thank God. So finally by day seven, I feel like my endurance was getting so much better. My form and my posture is getting just a lot better as well. Maybe I noticed that because I'm videoing myself, but it's about dang time because like I was feeling really good and can get through the workout. And here I included a clip of day three and then day seven. Obviously I'm much quicker with my up down planks and my form is just way better as well. Do you ever take a psychology class in high school or in college and you learned about Pavlov and his dog? He would give him a treat every time he heard a bell and then one time he just rang the bell and the dog started to salivate but there was no treat. I feel the same way except with this sound. Except instead of salivating, I just start sweating. <laughs> Okay, random side note, but these leggings are amazing. They're squat proof and also they don't show any sweat stains and I sweat a lot, okay? They're from Amazon and no, this isn't sponsored, but they have an amazing fit and they're comfortable and I just love them and I wanna share them with you. So I also will link these in the description of the video if you're interested and they come in a bunch of other colors and they're high-waisted and I just love them a lot. 
Here is another comparison video of when you have to hold the plank. So this is day eight on the right and then day one on the left. I could barely hold a plank for like 10 to 15 seconds. And then here I am killing it on the right. My form is amazing. I'm not, I was like chilling, honestly. And I held it for a full 30 seconds and it was super easy and I was so proud of myself. So my endurance is getting better and just being able to do the exercises is getting so much easier. But I guess that's why they say practice makes perfect, right? Okay, so I am a little over halfway through with the Chloe Ting two week shred challenge. So I'll tell you a couple things that I do like so far. It definitely gets progressively more challenging. So in the beginning, you don't have as many workouts and then as you go through, you definitely have more and more added to each day. I noticed on day eight after I threw on my workout outfit that I actually had a little bit of definition in my stomach. So this is pretty much how I envision God making me. Like he was just letting all these other women in the world have hourglass figures and have a smaller waist. And then when he was creating me, you know, he just was like, I think a door shape would be great. Just like a nice rectangle body. That would be perfect. It's really hard for me to find definition in my waist because it's non-existent. I am very rectangularly shaped. So at any point when I'm wearing high-waisted pants and I notice that my waist goes in a little bit, I get really excited. A few other things I notice just kind of day to day that I feel like my core is much more engaged. Either it feels engaged or I'm just sore or both. One other thing I wanted to add in halfway through this video was my diet. When I filmed my drinking a gallon of water a day challenge video, I had a lot of questions on what I was eating. So I thought I'd answer those questions in this video. As far as food and diet goes, I am someone that sticks to a primarily low carb, keto friendly sort of diet. So that's my normal and that's pretty much what I've been sticking to. My lunches have been like chicken and vegetables. I've been doing salads. I've been drinking a ton of water, just trying to eat as healthy as possible, which is what I try to do majority of the time anyway but especially during this challenge I wanted to have really good eating habits and then do this challenge to see if I could maximize the results at the end of the two weeks so with that being said let's get back to the workouts day nine was an active rest day so I decided to go outside and go for a walk the weather was like really overcast and cloudy which is my favorite because I don't burn and my face doesn't turn bright red so I quite enjoyed it <laughs> On day 10, I actually woke up relatively early to go ahead and knock out the workout for the day, but I really wasn't feeling those up-down planks, as you'll see uh, right here. Even though I'm past the halfway point, these exercises are still kicking my butt. The workouts are still going really strong. I will say my endurance is getting much better. My form is getting better and my activity tolerance of just being able to get through the entire workout is so much better. The videos are repetitive, so you kind of know what exercises are coming. So I came over to look at day 11's workout routine and it's literally just two videos. It's only 23 minutes easy peasy i've been doing like 45 minute workouts i figured 23 minutes is not that terrible for a workout time so i'm like you know what let's make this a little bit more challenging and i'm gonna add in a resistance band I'm really glad I decided to use resistance bands on day 11. It made the workout that much more challenging. And again, it was only 23 minutes, so I figured why not, you know? Some of the exercises though, I don't know if it was me doing it wrong or putting the band on wrong or it just was not a great exercise to use a resistance band because it would just slide up and down and I ended up taking it off for some of them because it just wasn't working. Instead of listening to Chloe Ting, I just watched her videos today and I put on some just good workout music and I got carried away a couple of times. For copyright reasons, this was Thanks for the Memories by Fall Out Boy for context. And was out of sync with whatever exercise she was doing, but that's okay, we still got it done. We're still a bright red cherry tomato. Just a few more days. Oh, what? Hello, um, I'd like a refund on not looking like an idiot. Honestly, between this high bun and this shirt, um, I look like I'm about to go into a gymnastics competition, so watch your man. I feel like doing this workout 0% right now. I'm so tired. She gonna start off with some kind of like up-down plank or something. Ugh. 
no i was wrong all right so i might have been a little bit of a whiny baby because i was really exhausted from a long day at work but you know what ladies and gents we got the workout done we did it we were committed you know that's the good thing about this program is you look forward to it and it's like in the back of your mind like you know you have to do it because it's just on your schedule and you can't avoid it Another day, another workout, another set of up-down planks because Chloe Ting loves to torture me specifically. Yeah, that's that's what I said. Um, yeah, I was really tired again today. I worked again and I just, it was a little bit more of a sloppy workout than I had liked, but as I always say, we got it done and we're doing it and we're committed. So even if it's a little bit sloppy and you're a little bit more tired than normal, you still did it. So go you. It's day 14, the final day of the Chloe Ting two week challenge. All right, let's get this last workout over with. I literally thought I'd never see this day. Okay, this was a two weeks that I feel like lasted an eternity. And now I feel like I'm graduating this challenge, you know, like, should I play some graduation music? Like, dum, 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 dum. Is that even the graduation sound? Is it like the song? I don't know. I didn't pay attention during my graduation. Anyways, the workout was awesome. I felt really motivated, but probably because it was the last day. So just knock them out and finishing. And just like that, I finished my last day. On that note, I'm so glad it's finally over. Now to edit all of the footage of the last 14 days. And then in the morning, I'll be filming my after results. The moment we have all been waiting for. The end of the Chloe Ting two week shred challenge. This has been the longest two weeks of my life. Before I start talking about the results, which is what I'm sure a lot of people have clicked on this video for, I just wanted to say a couple of things. Always remember that workout challenges are just that. They are challenges. They are truly not going to change the physical structure and design of your body in 14 days and 21 days in one month. If you're going into this challenge because you think in 14 days you can change the physical structure of your body, Honey, I got some bad news for you. Anyways, let's talk about my results. So from day one to day 14, I definitely toned up pretty well for my body shape. I don't know how much of it you can see in these videos, but I definitely had a little bit more definition in my abs. When I turned to the side, there definitely is some definition kind of going on in the center and around the side of my abs. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the physical changes that I saw in the definition in my abs. As far as numeric changes, I was shocked. I lost one and a half inches around my waist. Your waist is considered the most narrow part of your torso. And yeah, I lost one and a half inches. I then ended up losing a half an inch from my hips. I would definitely recommend that you guys try this challenge or any other Chloe Ting challenge. She is amazing. I think her workouts are awesome. And she posts them for free on her website. So you can check those out. She also has plenty of YouTube videos. I will post the specific challenge that I thought for two weeks in the description of the video if you want to try it for yourself. If you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this two week journey of the workout challenge with me. If you're interested in seeing other workout challenges, other videos of this nature please let me know in the comments below i'm always looking to try new things and film new things for you guys as well if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time that i post also if you enjoyed watching this video it'd mean a lot to me if you gave it a thumbs up for me and leave a comment down below if you've done the chloe ting challenge if you're here to see the results if you're here because you're doing the challenge if you're here from tiktok let me know why you decided to click on this video thanks again for watching and i hope to see you in the next video